very well it would make it less annoying Monkey. right so uh i'm excited for that but you know i'm, I'm definitely not gonna start a, a series immediately and it's also not really the best idea to do so because there's gonna be a bunch of updates after that and there's gonna be there's definitely gonna be a big update every year has that one big update into the game so uh you gotta watch out for, what you gotta do is look out for that and uh yeah basically you basically have to look out for sh shit like that because uh otherwise you're just very very much behind also at that time of the year with, with the rosters there's a bunch of errors there's a bunch of players missing there's all that stuff you know just all that stupid stuff piled in so what i'm the most likely thing i'm gonna even try doing is just like start creating players with for prospects and stuff and and keep uh raw threatening on the dock uh updating the dock and stuff because i'm definitely not done that so i'm 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 behind on that i gotta do that before i gotta hope to do that before the season starts because uh that wouldn't be good if the season starts and i'm still on that uh but yeah we're <laughs> by the deadline we're already qualified for the playoffs we're already good god the atlantic division is so be it's so much behind compared to other teams what in the world what kind of division is that good god holy shit bro I i've never seen a division this bad i've never seen a division be this bad hold on i've never seen a division be this bad atlantic division good god all these teams they wouldn't be making the wait i'm gonna have to see oh, okay so so they don't have games in hand okay but that is uh, that is terrible that's bad i mean these teams could just no team in the atlantic division would be able to make the playoffs in any other division even the Sabres that are currently Sabres and Habs that are currently tied for first, but the Sabres have the tiebreaker because they have games in hand. Oh, so where do, do these guys rank among the league though? Hold on. I don't need to see because it can't be it, right? So 19th in the league, Montreal's 13th in the league and second in their division. Second in division, 13th in the league is just some crazy work, dude. That's just crazy. Monkey. Oh, God. But, uh, hey. Uh, we're... I mean, that wasn't a problem at all. Oliver Moore is just going off. Hold on. That's not screen where I wanted to go. This is it. So, uh... Oliver Moore. So, he's looking like the guy. And Bedard, he is still the guy uh so Orchinski with 71 points uh the goaltending still sucks though yeah uh i i would want i really don't know about giving the goalie this this many games like what is going on with the auto rotated goalie is it is it off our rotated goalie is off. Good God, why? He already has 61 games. Oh, stop, dude. I, I yeah, I completely ran him to the ground. And I'm def I'm I'm obviously gonna make a trade for a goalie. I'm obviously gonna have to. But yeah, uh, we're just going all in. So, bro, do you want to trade Brent Clark? Yeah, uh, we also have a cap problem. So we are going to have to actually just try and finagle around that. So that's going to be fun, I guess. I mean, is there anything we can do to even make the cap work? Okay, I need to see if, if, if he even has an extension. No extension. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, cool. But I'm just gonna have to see what's up here. 
and we don't have um, many picks so yeah it, it, it's not gonna work but we're gonna have to try and see if we can find players who can who don't cost much but they can score for us uh i would love to, for them to be rentals as well not uh Zergachev, what's your overall? 86. They're looking for a first round pick. Uh still on Tampa Bay in this world, of course. So I think we can we can go with those demands. I mean Sergachev, he's 32. Minus 27. Where would he fit? Defensive pairing number two. He can play both sides as well. So that works. We can we can send in the first, uh, a first from like that year. So, Chicago would have more than four or five skaters. Uh, okay, I'll just send some send one guy back. That's that's it. Uh, Vativa signing. He he has a year left on his deal as well. Monkey. Would be over the max salary cap. So they're fine with coughing up. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have to. Uh... Yeah, but it's a one-year deal. I was about to be like, yeah, okay, it, it is probably logical that they're making us add more to the deal for them to retain salary. But but it's it's retaining salary for for like two months. Like it doesn't matter. Like his contract ends in like two months. Like, like, dude, uh, what are you guys even doing? Uh, okay, then, like. Like, is, is there anybody? Is there anybody you're looking for? Uh, Alex Zetterberg, I mean, you can have him. Uh, that doesn't look like he can, but uh, what the hell are you trying to okay cool so uh forget it let's go for someone else dude uh you can piss off ahl bound uh michael bunting was a guy uh connor garland one mil why the hell do they want this guy traded uh, i mean uh, he's a guy i would want to to actually like resign but dude I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do that uh okay like do we even need a forward we don't at least i don't think we do top goalie prospect we probably need a goalie look at dostal top goalie prospect like I, I i don't have a top goalie prospect for you so you're gonna have to uh yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna look your way. Gosh, I... Uh, Artem Zub. Like, dude, he's an 82 overall. No one is giving you that much. No one's giving you a top goalie prospect for him, bro. I'm telling you that. I'm, I'm ensuring you that right now. <sighs> JT is or 13 mil. It, it, it would be fine if it wasn't 13 mil because otherwise we basically have to send a bunch Monkey. for him so i'm probably just gonna try and find a trade for some of those for, for a goalie because i because i think that's what's important right now like we need a backup plan unless something goes wrong because we do not have really a backup plan we we don't so what we need to do is try and plan for it. Uh, yeah, they have some. Yeah, he's he, he's expandable. Our Limbaum fifth round pick that works. Uh, that totally works. Yeah, uh, move, move down, please. Move the hell down. Uh. 
So we we got our goalie. I could use a trade finder for for a, a defenseman here. Yeah, what the hell was I doing? Okay, so let me just see what's up. Uh, the Avs were pretty far back in the in the standings last time I checked, but I don't know. Uh, I think Bokefist is still on that team. He was released in real life. Uh, okay. Nurse still has two years left on that deal. Florida has a lot of D. He somehow made his way into the into the build. Okay, cool. I mean, it's 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 not the best. Not the thing I really want, but yeah, I'm gonna try and and and, and make that offer different because that's not who I wanna. But have more than forty five. Yeah, okay, cool, whatever. I can already send a few of uh, a few guys. It's fine. Uh, low elite. He's, I mean. Be over the maximum salary cap. Just retain, dude. Just retain for a few months. Like it, it, it should not be a refusal, man. Like you're not retaining long term. You're, you're not retaining anything long term. Okay, so you can live with it. Cool, whatever. Oh god, I'm gonna give you a first round pick here. Monkey. Take it. Good god. Ah. Oh. Okay, good. So Jordan Spence, he's at least going to be here for a rental. Uh, that works. Uh, I think our work is done for the trade deadline. I mean, we kind of just did our work. Uh, let's just move on to something else because I, I really don't think we should be wasting our time. And if, and if like we really shouldn't be wasting our time when it's you know, if it's not needed to. Uh, who the hell is this guy? I guess claim and just send, throw him to the miners. But it's not like he's gonna play any NHL time. Ba bearing injury, bearing injury. Uh, wait, did we? Yeah, they just changed the lines because of course they did. Now, I do not remember a single thing. Um, we probably did this, and we probably did this, right? And then, uh, Richie. Richie, you were right here. It was Iserman. And then it was, uh, Corvo. And then, here is Lardis. But we at least got the baselines done with. And then now we have... Okay, so Spencey's a right D. So that's exactly what we needed, right? Uh... Yeah, I don't know what to make of all of this, right? Because... Yeah, I'm probably going to keep it, what it uh, how it is right now. And... Uh... Yeah, we have a lot of... The entire right side is just offensive defensemen constantly. And uh, Samuel Janssen. You're going to have to go to the minors. Because, uh, yeah. That's how it works. And also trade deadline. I think we're more flexible with this stuff. Yeah, whatever. I'm taking the risk. And no one actually ended up claiming you, so... Hey, cool. Now we have a better tandem. Uh, a tandem I could trust more. Right? 
Is it better? I mean, he has a 909 in 46 games. Uh, I, I, I think their goalie... It looks like their goalie got injured, I guess. But... It is what it is, dude. Uh, we're trying to push hard for the cup. We the last time I tried everything to just cover our tracks, we ended up in a Western Conference final loss. And it just brought us absolutely nothing. But I think I'm just going to go and trust the core and honestly back then we weren't as good as we are now in like by the by the deadline yeah and we have a bunch of injuries as well oh god okay oh well, we're still winning games but you kind of want to just go ahead and 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 have the playoffs right uh, so, so I guess Vati Vasanen is going to be our injury player. I, I guess it's going to be him on defense. Uh, let us hope he doesn't get injured as well. Wait, uh, we also have Salayev, so it's fine. It's fine. Ryan Lotz, Ralph Lotz. He's also, uh, he's also back. So let's put Slots you back in. Now we're at full force. So let's just hope uh, everything's fine, right? So, uh, yeah, AHL 57, 10, and 4. Mm, that's what you like to see. Uh, and honestly, 60, 60, 12, and 4 now. Uh, Bedar with 105 points. That's. That's sweet. But what we should do here, uh, they mixed up the the power play lines. I'm seeing, yeah, they probably did. So uh, yeah, so it was. Hold on. So it was Nazar right here. Yeah, it it, it definitely was Nazar. And then we had. Uh, who was it? It was Moro. Yeah, it, it, it was Scott Moro. And I think what I'm going to do... Who was it right here? Who was it? It's been so long, dude. Yeah, but Lucas Reichel was right here. Demidov was not there. Hey, it, oh, yeah, it, it was Lysel, I think. Oh, uh, Lysel was... Yeah, it was him. Yeah, okay, it was him, I think. Uh, Monkey. Yeah, I, I freaking hate that glitch.
Pancho simulate. But hey, United Center, we have home ice advantage for a reason. Uh, we can't let that team hurt us. It, it can't. So, so here we go. Demidov. Hey, he hasn't scored last series. Oliver Moore. There you go. So punishing them in the slot. Do nothing. Uh, Joel er er Eric Sinek. 3 1. Frank Nazar. There you go. There you go. Uh, 3 2. Ah, Spencer Stashney. Corvo. It, it's fine. So, so two goal lead coming to the third period. Hey, it's fine. It's fine. We're still here. Ah, year off. Oh, can stop taking penalties. Ah, oh, Colin Graf. Fourth line. Oh, for God's sakes. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this this early into the series? Come on, man. Stop. Ugh. Dude. Minnesota. Hey, we gotta be on our P's and Q's in this series, man. They are not Dallas. They are not Dallas, bro. Stop. Don't play it like it's Dallas. Minnesota can hurt you. Um, oh my god. Nice save, Vinny. Okay, Bedard. Uh, Bedard. Ah, you could have. Oh my god. Oh, dude. Every time this guy shoots, I just feel. You just gotta feel scared. Because of what is about to be unleashed. Okay, Bedard. Okay, Bedard. Okay. Bedard and Rossi, the battle of midgets. Uh. Oh, there you go. Bedard! Yes! Oh, come on. Come on, dude. Come on. There you go. Get that shit out of here, man. Oh, we had no we had no business blowing a 2-0 lead. We have no we had no business blowing a 2-0 lead in this uh in, in this game. Oh god. 2-0 lead in not a two a two goal lead. Two goal lead in the third period. But there we go. Ah, oh, they tied up. Tied up immediately. It's fine. 2-1. There you go. Damien Lysel. End the period like that. There you go. No ball busters. There you go. Oliver Moore. 3-1. 3-1, bro. Come on, keep keep the lead. We're completely dominating these guys as well. We're completely dominating them. Love to see it. That's what you love to see. Doubling their shots. More than doubling their shots now. All right. Power play. Ah, you, you. Hey, man. Hey, we had a chance to put them away for good. Ah, Riley Haith. Let's not repeat the same thing. So, we don't even have a third period goal yet in this series. But we are still leading to nothing. There you go. Uh, that's exactly what you want to see. Well, from the defense. Defense, goaltending, helping us a little bit in, in, in close games in the third period. Uh, Callum Ritchie. 
There you go. There you freaking go. Oh, yeah, we have two minutes left. You're off. Yeah, uh, these games have not been the, the easiest games. They pretty much, Minnesota was, it, is not going away without a fight. Ah, Thomas Harley. Yeah, they're dominating this game so far. But it's still 2-2. Oliver Moore, there you go. There you go. Oh, Monkey. Okay. Okay. Bedard, the lead here. The lead. There you go. Now hold. Hold the lead. Oh, God. Kirill Kaprasov. Oh, dude. With four minutes left. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Game six. Oh, there was no reason for that. Ah, uh, three two series. So with like twelve minutes left, we, we had a chance to just completely put them away. Put them away for good, I mean as well. Oh dude. Okay, man. Here we go. Here we go. Game six in Minnesota. Uh, I'm still gonna roll with my guys, dude. I really hope we get a fast start, though. 
uh, we have to go on a fast start this game because it hasn't been that easy the past few games we just have been since game two uh dude can we not ah largest there you go one nothing lead that, that's exactly what you want to see all right Okay, allow enough. Okay, leading, leading into the into the third period. Twenty minutes away from the Western Conference Finals. Hold, hold, please. There you go, Lucas Reichel. Lucas Reichel comes back. He hasn't scored all playoffs, but there he is. With some patience, I guess. Oh, there you go, Vinny. They're running out of time. Could it be? It's a shutout. Shutout win. So it looks like, hey, everything is falling into place. Everything is falling into place so far for this team. Uh, the Sharks and Kraken are going to Game Seven. The Bruins have been have been the Sens in in six. Islanders beat the Blue Jackets in six. There you go. It should be Game Seven, and we will be facing the. The Seattle Kraken. Okay. So, I'm just going to sim a day just to make sure of their lineup. Because you do not want to have something unexpected with, you know. It's always something with them. Monkey. We've played them before, I think. But we've, I think we've lost in seven. Back, back a few years ago. But hey, it, it 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 is what it is here. They have a very very good core of players, very good core of players. Like there's nothing else to be said really. But yeah, yeah. Again, I think I wanted to trade for him at some point. Logan Hansler, Vince Dunn. Yeah, they're still really good, man. Yeah, this is a team that could hurt you. It's just like Minnesota. But but that goaltending, we could hurt it. They have a better defense than Minnesota. But here we go, man. Uh, we're the team that finished with the best record in the league for a reason. By far as well. So... <laughs> Our expectation is to beat them. Is it going to be easy? No. But, hey. Uh, we're made for these moments here. There you go. Damn it, Dov. Opening the series up with a goal. Pretty equal game right now. And end the first period and we're leading one to nothing that's a good start perfect start exactly what you want to see exactly what you want to see and they tie it up jagger furcus uh not good not good dude it'll be fun to have a goal back here uh we're doubling their shots so I'm not really out of confidence for for that team because we are still dominating in the shots. Oh my God, dude, Ty Nelson. Yeah, and we don't even. Yeah, uh, we cannot lose in the Western Conference Finals again, dude. Just again. Uh, okay. I haven't looked at the lines, but hey, let's go ahead and see who's been producing and who.
the dominating, it's beautiful, but it's stressful at the same time. Because they... Uh, in front... Yeah, there isn't much that was done here, really. Shoot! Get back, get back, get back! Nice four check, nice four check. Bro, we had this game, bro. If they score right here, it's series over for good. Like, it, it's series over. Getting riled up here. Okay. And there you go. I don't know if I'm even happy about this, but it just saved our season right there. Our season is saved right there. There you go. There you go. Season saved. <sighs> okay. Game four. Uh, we need better games, man. Like, we need a better game from this team. A better, a more complete game. This team cannot die in the third period. It just keeps dying in the third period. It happened in the Minnesota series, too. Like, okay, come on. Zvozil, there you go. Can oh, my God. Ugh. Oh, come on. Like, dude, I know it's a 2-1 series right now, but it, it's about to be 3-1, bro. 4-1. Why are we struggling against him? Uh, 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 like, dude, we're a 66-win team. Why are we struggling against them?
There you go. Uh, last game did not even do really much. It's... Oh, my God. Ah. Uh... Oh, we did tie it up. Oh, we take the lead. Okay, there we go. So, he actually scored some goals, I guess. Uh, I would, I would love to have a big goal game, maybe. In an elimination game. Down 3-2. So, we have a chance in game 7. But, uh, hey. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, it would not be ideal to take a penalty right here. But we score right after after we kill it. That is what that is what I want to see. Okay. Uh, uh, why is Vinny in? Why the hell is Vinny in, bro? I I didn't decide that. EA, I decided to have my my backup in. I decided to send a message and then put and, and then put Limbaum in. Why the like? What the hell is he doing? But okay, uh, Oliver Moore. Oliver Moore four two. He's he, he's been so good these playoffs. Like I swear to God, he's been so good. He showed up better than anybody else. He's definitely con smite if it, if we go all the way. But that's not really the question right now. This game is for the Cup Finals. The winner is gonna meet the Islanders. Uh, dude, go ahead, go for it, go for it. Get ready to run through a wall. There we go. At home. At home right here. We can stop taking penalties. Stop taking penalties. Stop taking penalties. God. We score first. There we go. Frank Nazar. I haven't seen you in a while. God. Stop taking penalties. But there you go. Damn it, off. 2 nothing, 2 nothing, Hawks. 3 nothing. Connor Bedard. 4. So we were... So we were literally... We literally had this game in us. We had this game in us. The, the best moment. In the best moment possible. We have a game like this. A game that is supposed to bring us to the uh, cup finals, but uh, guys, uh, lo lock in, lock in. It was four nothing. Uh, 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 like, don't go ahead and look like clowns after this performance. Five two. There you go. There you go. Six two. There you go. There you go. Seven two. Uh, I I'm gonna jump in. Uh, just for the Sally. Just for the Sally here. It was 3-1, boys. It was 3-1. It was 3-1. There you go, man. Let's go, Hawks. Let's go, Hawks. There you go, man. Back in the cup final for the first time since 2015. So, that was expected. That was expected. We had stand. We've been the best team in the league for, for a bit. But we couldn't deliver in the playoffs. Couldn't deliver in the playoffs. And, uh, yeah, it was, that was a problem. Uh, but hey, we're in the cup final. We've somehow found a way. Which is, uh, yeah. But hey, uh, they really had to do it in, in this fashion, right? Just go down 3-1. Go down 3-1 against Seattle. A good team, but not a team that's better than you. What? Would, but, okay. I, I did say it was going to be easy. It, it wasn't going to be easy, but... Uh, yeah, I still expect the team to compete, you know? Because the last time we played in Chicago... Not the last time, actually. Wait, we won game five. But... 
a few games ago we were uh we're letting seven goals a game so the turnaround is pretty amazing and we're going to the cup final And that might make up for a lot of opportunities missed from from past Hawks teams, by the way. There really wasn't any easy way, man. Oh wait, we didn't even face the Avs. But hey, we still faced Minnesota. Minnesota, Seattle. Uh those teams are are very good. I mean, those teams were very good. And it definitely wasn't an easy pass either. So, uh, I'm, I'm not going to take any of this lightly. I'm not going to say it was an easy pass. Uh, we didn't even have it easy against them. Like... Oh, the Cup Finals. Two days from game seven uh that's pretty unrealistic but hey the isles let's see what's up with the new york islanders let's see what is up uh what do they have here and what brings them to this final team like minnesota they have a great top six good god william moore okay man it's not good so we should be able michael ben yeah it's okay mike benning michael benning Okay, man. So, uh, their defense is not good. This team from an equivalent looks a lot like Dallas. Except the team that they, instead of team that actually got hot, right? So, uh, it, to me, it looks a lot like Dallas as a team, right? But hey, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I'm not going to go make any changes. I'm going to go with what worked from uh, from all the elimination games. Uh, we just go. We ride with the hot hand. We have home ice advantage. Connor Bedard. Who who else better to open up the Stanley Cup final with a goal? Cole Iserman. There you go. Cole Iserman, actually, real life New York Islander. Ah, 2 1. Tima Shev. Three, two, uh, three, one. Sean Corvo. And there you go. Three, one. End of one. There you go. There you go. Uh, okay, Faraby. That's a, a slip up right there. Bad penalty. Demidov, though. And we're back to a two goal lead. 4-3 Amadio, bro. Yeah, we cannot let this shit happen, right? We're still leading, yes, but I, I, I do not want these these deaf guys to be scoring. There you go. Power play. Oliver Moore. You love to see it. Okay, at, at least we get the insurance goal. Oh my god, dude! Stop! Keeping them in this game. Why the hell are we doing that? Oh, dude, against this team. Oh, this team will never quit, bro. We are just about to 
drop the puck here in overtime. What a time for you to tune in if you're just joining us here now. The next goal will be a golden goal. We are all tied, and it is Sunday. Great heads up play by the Monkey. And that's some great pressure on the offensive end by Holstrom. The Islanders have it now. Romanov's moving the puck through his own zone. Now a quick pass to Horvath. Good God. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Oh, we have a power play. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, man. Oh my god, there you go. Ah. Oh, there you go. There you go in front. Oh, God. Oh my god.
Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, they're dominating play, which is not what you want to from an Islanders team. Oh, N not very ideal. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. I have a chance right here. There we go. Korczynski. Point shot. Good God. Okay, Sorokin. You did not need to show off like that. You did not. You Are we good? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I had a little... Little thing happened here. Here we go. Okay, Murrow. Oh, in front, in front, shoot. Oh, you could have shot earlier. You could have shot earlier, man. Oh, no. A bastion. Oh, shot. Oh god, okay. Oh no, Amadio. Amadio again. This guy. Oh, what a save, Vinny. Oh, he he throws it out as well. Good god. He does that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Shoot. Shoot. Good god. Good god. Uh, okay. Fine. Uh oh, oh in front. He still has it. Still has control. Oh no, not good enough. And they score. For God's sakes, why do we have players like Nate Bastian scoring the goals for them? God, that stupid black magic. That stupid black magic. Game four, I'm not gonna make any changes here over an overtime loss. Uh come on. Okay, man. More. I'm getting a bit tired, but I'm still holding on. Uh, all over more. So we're up by one, and they just get a power play goal because, of course, we just got a collapse in the third period. Nothing goes our way in the third period. Let's just decide it that way. I swear to God, dude. There you go. Emmy Hemming. There you go. Hemming again, two goal game from the from the fantastic Finn. There you go. Good God, good God, good God, dude. Uh, 
Oh god, I, I accidentally pressed. But hey, we have a chance to put them away completely and we win the cup. And that's it, right? That's it. That's it, right? Let's not mess around. How about we don't mess around at all here? What we do? There you go. Oh, okay. So they're serious about it, eh? Nazar, Demidov. I mean, Horvat scores after. And oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's erased. Never mind. This, the rest of the team just decided that nope. We're just gonna hang back. Dude, they're in elimination elimination game, bro. They're in, in an elimination game. They're gonna come full swing. Lock in. Power play goal. There you go, Mooney. There you go. There you go. We needed a break. 4 2, Nick, Nick Lardis. Now let's not sit down on this lead and, and, and go cocky. That simple. Don't do that. Don't. Okay. One period left. Okay, man. Shots are close. Two goal lead. Hold it in. Hold it. And the cup is yours. Fantastic way of ending the series right here with Connor Bedard voicing the cup. That's exactly what exactly uh uh what i envisioned uh i wanted it to happen you know like a few more times in this we we had some waste opportunities here uh but hey we came a long way importance is we did it and it is what it is bro it is what it is what a way to end the nhl 24 cycle lockdown defense and with two minutes left, let's just hold this lead here. The Islanders, they got their black magic is not is not good enough for the best regular season team of all time. And they actually win. They actually win the cup. Take notes, by the way. Right? Take some notes. Oh, we have a power play. Yeah. Adding the icing on the cake. There you go. There you go, man. That's exactly what you love to see. And there you go. Little stat pad. Oliver Moore. I love to see it. What a way to end the cycle. Uh, hopefully you guys aren't going to have to wait too long to wait. For NHL 25 franchise mode. I, I, I already got some goals in mind. Hopefully I get to also have the, the, uh, the throwback roster along with it. That's exactly what I'm hoping. Uh, 
stop. Oh yeah, of course a roughing call. Yeah, a little bit of extracurricular stuff before the end of the of the, of the season. Mm. It, it is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. But okay. Forty. There you go. Nice, nice flashing the glove, flashing the glove, Vinny. But yeah, you know, uh, I already know the team I want to do for NHL 25. Very happy of the features. Uh, but yeah, uh, th this this video is a goodbye to NHL 24. All right. Uh, I I think I got consistent again in this series. I got. I think th this was the year I actually got, I mean, this summer. I think this summer was really big. I got uh, uh, I, I, I got to be able to upload videos on a consistent basis again. It, it, it slowed down lately because of school and stuff and really trying to deal with my life stuff. But hey, it is what it is, man. We... This past summer it's been a fun series it's the first lengthy series i've 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 been able to have for for quite a few years 2022 2023 was tough for for content now hopefully for 2025 i'm just able to deliver and but there you go a good a goodbye to nhl 24 I'm gonna get the thumbnail ready as we speak. Kevin Korczynski gets the con smite. Okay. So that's a. I mean, I thought Oliver Moore left and led the league in points. The team, probably the, the playoffs at points, but it is what it is. Good choice. Connor Bedard gets to hoist a cup. I know who I'm gonna give it to. I know who I'm gonna give it to first. I know I'm going to give it to next. Kevin Korczynski, the guy who's been here for the entire ride. There you go. They go way back. There you go. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Honestly, Oliver Moore, Oliver Moore, Oliver Moore. There you go. He's next to hoist the cup. Yep, he's been so clutched, so clutch in the in in, in these playoffs. He's really shown up this year. Even who's next? Brazil. Yeah, Demidov, Demidov, Demidov. They also go way back. They all do. There you go. There you go. The picture we've all been waiting for. Oh, yeah.
so hope you guys enjoy subscribe if you're new click the like button comment down below your thoughts and uh yeah you, you could have been a lot of other places but you chose to be here so i appreciate it so i you know it's it's been fun delivering all that uh it's been fun delivering all that content and uh yeah man there's gonna be more to come in nhl 25 there's definitely gonna be more to come uh if things if, if things fall good i'm gonna be able to deliver content